Okay, so let's see what the resistance is. So now this is the, as low as it will go. This is uh, this results in 4.5 volts. Let's see what it, what resistance it is. 1.07k, which doesn't make sense. 1,070 ohms. That doesn't make sense because you see the mark in here. 102. Now I'm pretty sure that means 200 ohms. 20 with 10, 200. Oh. Oh, right. Actually, it means 10 with 20. It's 1k. Right. Right, okay. So, 4.5 volts. That setting happens when this is maximum. Maximum resistance. Now, so this is good, actually. This is very good. So what it means is, is that um, if I, like, to make it a bit lower, I could make the resistance of this a little bit higher. Okay, so when that little adjustment thing is all the way, which is 1,070 ohms, we get 4.5 volts output on the um, power supply. When it's zero ohms, we get 5.5 volts on the power supply. So we need a higher resistance than what we've currently got. So 1,070 is 4.5 volts so it's pretty much just a case of trial and error um, 1070 let's go for like 1100 1200 something like that so we need a 1k <coughs> what have we got here I think 1k might be in here yeah there we go we've got some 1k's 1k We'll have one of those. 1k, and what do we want? We probably want, I don't know, 100, something like that. Let's see what we've got. 100, 100, no, they're too big. Wouldn't easily be able to move them around. 150, that's probably about right. 150 ohms. So we've got 1,150 as opposed to 1,070. So this is going to be a bit of a nasty job, but let's twist these together in order to form our new resistor. Okay, so now I'm going to be a bit lazy and just use this. And I just need to solder that on there. Pretty much just tack it on. So now I've replaced the resistor. <coughs> I want to... I don't know, what do I want to do? Yeah, I want to test the voltage now. Basically, I'm going to ram this in here. Where's the plus? Where's the plus one? Well, in fact, it doesn't really matter anyway. Oh, it does say. Right, I don't particularly want to be touching it when I turn it on, just in case this reacts in a, a way which I don't don't expect. But anyway, with those resistors in place, it, it should be lower voltage. Let's see. Oh, what is it? 4.46 okay so it has dropped slightly what is it doing here? it's because I keep moving the cable 4.46 right so it needs more resistance, it needs even more resistance so I'm going to switch that off pull it out and it needs more resistance so Take it back out. So I've got a 1k and 150. So if I do 2k, put this back with its 150s, just here. Now if I do 2k, I wonder what it'll do. I just want to be sure. 
So if I need 2k, it should be, it's got to be at least 3 volts or so, I would imagine. Call that there. And let's see what happens. Yeah, it's ticking, it doesn't like that. And it's way too low voltage now anyway. So it's making a ticking noise now, which uh, I imagine that's probably not a good thing. So 2K is, is too much resistance. Okay. One point five and let's see what happens again. Hmm. Hopefully it won't do that clicking noise. And what have we got now? Oh four point two seven. Right, I think I might leave it at that, you know. For mm, it's a little bit on the high side. What shall I do? No, it is too high. I'm gonna go a touch a touch higher resistance than that. Uh, yeah, let's try 1,600. So we've got a 100 ohm resistor to add in it as well. 1,600. One thousand six hundred. Right, are we ready? Let's see. Oh, four point two three. Yep, I'll accept that. So, what do we need to do now? Well, pretty much solder them back in place. Uh, 4.23 volts, that will be perfect. Turn it back off. So I'll solder these in place and then I'll show you the thing working and then I'll put it all back together and all that and uh, yeah. So I've worked out the amount of resistance that I need which was 1600 and something. Um, and if I wanted I could just solder those in place, it works and it'd be fine. But that's not ideal because I might need to tweak it in the future. So what would be ideal is that if I could have one of these potentiometers that instead of it being 1K, if it would be 2K or 1.6K or 1.7K or something, that would be ideal. But I don't have one. What I do have is I have a 5K uh, potentiometer and I have a 2K one of these, which is a big thing. This one is ideal in size, but the problem is with this is that Anything over 2K won't work, so basically three-fifths of this, of its rotational surface would be a waste of time, which means that, uh, that two-fifths would control the voltage, and that's like tiny little measurements, which I don't think would work, so I'm going to say no to that one. This one's not ideal, because of course, you know, it gets in the way of the case, but having said that, just be careful where I'm touching here, but having said that, it does fit in. It fits in like that, and that's ideal, really. It's just a bit of a pain. So yeah, I'm going to have that thing stuck on it. And I think that's the best way. I mean, it's 2K. I'm going to test that it works. If it works, I'm going to solder it in place, and I'll show you the results after. It should give me bigger scope for adjustment. I should be able to go to lower voltages. Now, at the same time, it's going to go as far... Uh, it's going to go too far, it will let the user go too far, as in go into low voltages, which this isn't really designed to deal with, so you don't really want that, but um, so it's not ideal, but um, this is the only 2k one I've got it's too big, I mean ideally one of these would be better but this is what I've got, so I'm going to test it first, and if it works I'm going to put it in, and I'll show you in a minute Okay, so it's been soldered in place. Now let's see what happens. The thing is, I might have to adjust this thing a little bit for it to work properly. 
right five so that's low resistance So there we go, 4.2 volts. So I've converted that thing to 4.2. Now I just need to put it all back together. All right, so I've put it back together. I turned it on and put the voltmeter up to it. You can't quite see it, maybe. Yeah, there you go. And it does say 4.2 volts. Now the thing is, I've noticed that if you just knock that potentiometer slightly, it can go out of range. It can go too high or too low. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna super glue the thing in place. Right, let me just pierce this. There we go. So the little uh, uh, adjustment knob thing, let's move the camera so you can see. I'm just going to put some super glue on it. Like that, so that you can't move it anymore. It's permanently now at 4.21 volts. And that's how I've adjusted my power supply. So I've got a cheap power supply there was a voltage near what I wanted I worked out how the um, the voltage adjustment worked I've worked out a resistance value which was about 1.6 uh, ohm, uh, sorry, kilo ohms I then replaced it with a 2k potentiometer and then I've super glued it to the amount of resistance that I needed it to be at so yeah there we go that's how to do it now I'm not sure if it's the uh, if it's a professional thing to do. I don't. I'd probably not recommend it. But this is what I've done, and uh, this I'm pretty sure this will work for me without any problems. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.